what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so total film magazine shared some new recent images from halloween kills some new stills from the film highlighting particularly one of the opening moments that we know will happen based off of the trailer that came out a few weeks ago involving firefighters we also know that the strode women will be in the back seat of a truck as we saw at the end of halloween 2018 we have an image of that and we have an image of cameron getting choked out or grabbed by the throat at least by the shape as it looks like that would be the aftermath of what we saw in the trailer anyway when michael was reaching for his throat when he was aiming with a gun however we also learned some things regarding what we may expect for laurie strode or jamie lee curtis commented on laurie strode's fate sort of not really she kind of backtracked in a recent interview when speaking to total film magazine she just made some comments on what we can look forward to or start to speculate about i guess regarding halloween ends we know that's supposed to be coming out next year but before i get into that i just want to jump into these images here's the first image we of course see michael sticking it to the fireman or the firefighter we saw this in the trailer he's of course going to kill this person and he's going to kill a lot more than just one as we saw this isn't even the firefighter that was inside the house we know we know this is one of the ones that were outside watching him like he was some type of godlike figure rising from the ashes like a phoenix <laughs> um and this is just one of the firefighters that are going to get killed one of many that we know will get killed in that sequence regarding him escaping Lori strode's trap that she set for him this other image here shows the strode women sitting in the back of that truck that we saw highlighted at the end of the 2018 film and i believe allison is still holding that knife holding on to that knife that we saw her holding at the end of the first movie so i'm glad that's here attention to detail and they all of course look exhausted they've been through it they just want this nightmare to be over of course it's not going to be over until halloween ends is over and then in the last image we have cameron again getting choked by the shape here in this i think this is honestly the most beautiful image out of the three i like the tints the blue tint here i like the way this captures it's kind of very reminiscent to michael sort of admiring his work after he kills paul in the original film kind of tilts his head back and forth for those of you who've seen that film you know exactly what i'm talking about and then i want to jump into what jamie lee curtis had to say when speaking to total magazine total film magazine so we know that the film will be premiering at the venice film festival and laurie not laurie <laughs> jamie lee curtis will be accepting an award for her efforts these past couple of years as she's been an actress in this industry they're honoring her and recognizing her i know there's going to be a very big night for her and then what she had to say to total film magazine regarding what we can expect for halloween ends she said some she shared some tidbit of, tidbits of information she said that she would in the quote she said i would say given what i know about the next movie i think it will be the last time that i will play her but she kind of sidesteps that and she elaborates by saying and i'm not saying something like oh because i die it's nothing to do with that i'm talking about emotionally what they have constructed i think it will be a spectacular way to end this trilogy now of course lori stroke can have an emotional end without dying but this just convinces me that she's dying <laughs> i'm being honest that doesn't mean the character will die because again she 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 backtracks to kind of clear that up and say that she's not saying she's dying she's not confirming that we're going to get halloween resurrection all over again but at least if we do i think a lot of the fandom would argue that this death would at least feel a lot more rewarded and when i say rewarded not that the character should die but more heartfelt more impactful more meaningful and a better fitting into the character as opposed to how halloween resurrection was constructed because the biggest gripe that many people had with the opening of halloween resurrection stems from how convoluted the opening in and of itself is trying to rationalize what we clearly saw happen at the end of halloween h2o despite them of course not planning to actually kill michael myers in that film the plan all along apparently was for that to not be michael myers or for them to somehow just make come up with something to erase that from being the being the shape that we saw at the end of halloween h2o and then you have that convolutedness topped on to now killing the person who we are already invested in who is considered the heart and soul of this franchise the person who we thought finally killed the shape in 
Halloween H2O only to die in a very lackluster way from being highly stupid with her actions, mind you. <laughs> so hopefully if they kill her in Halloween Ends, it's nothing that's reminiscent of that at all. I think what I talked about briefly just then is what the mo is what people had a problem with with how she was killed in resurrection it's it's tacked on to one of the most convoluted things in this franchise Dave McRae said it best that whole thing you were in your head you might imagine Michael Myers swapping out clothes and getting d damn near butt ass naked <laughs> to switch clothes with this pair of makeup. like he's not gonna do that but she says that she's elaborate she elaborated saying that she's not trying to say that she just thinks it's a it very she's talking about the emotion the emotional aspect of it and what they have constructed it's a spectacular way to end the trilogy so that could be her and myers dying together it could be allison strode getting the final nail in the coffin against myers after Lori fails to defeat the shape but before she kind of dies she gives a last bit of confidence words of encouragement to allison who then goes on to kill the shape once and for all and get revenge for the death of not only Lori, because again i'm still convinced karen will die too i'm i'm convinced allison strode will be the one left standing having lost her grandmother and her mother but the way that Lori dies it'll probably be more of like a sacrifice way she sacrifices herself to save her granddaughter that's why i'm saying that would be more emotional and more meaningful compared to what happened with halloween resurrection where she died from basically in, in a more um direct way Lori strode died in halloween resurrection from being stupid she died from being stupid and i feel like that's another thing that didn't sit well with people it's like why are you reaching to take off this mask no you don't need to be sure this time you don't need to be sure no you don't need to be sure you need to kill him <laughs> um but yeah i don't necessarily think that she'll that she'll make it out alive i think she's honestly just trying to save that she's going to die that doesn't mean she'll die i just i'm convinced she'll die based off of those comments but let me know what you guys think about these images and Lord, and jamie lee curtis's words down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video